Welcome again to my channel everybody and today we are going to be using these Jane Davenport collage papers to decorate a DIY art journal. So keep watching and I am going to show you all about it and how to win some free Jane Davenport items. I have got a few of these hymn books that uh, come from my church and then another church uh, that my brother-in-law is pastor of and many churches don't really use hymn books anymore they just kind of put it on a screen the words to the song and uh, so what to do with all these hymn books well I've, I've gone ahead and taken out this all you have to do I'm going to show you is you cut right here, this part, with an X-Acto knife. And you just cut, you make sure you don't go into the binding. And that will take it all off. And once, you know, then you're left with these music papers that I also will use in collage and art journaling and whatnot. So that's the first step. You don't have to do it this way. You can use these to decorate whatever cover you have, but I am going to do it this way. I had someone ask me, uh, who was it? Was it June something? Let me check. Okay, so June, um, I do not know how to say your last name. Uh, Ram Sami. I'm sorry, I'm totally saying that wrong, I'm sure. Um, she had asked specifically about a video using Jane Davenport's collage papers, and since I was going to do one anyways, then that worked out really good. And so what these are, is these are basically napkins, and which is awesome because I collect pretty napkins and you put them all the time on on my mixed media pieces she has a few different uh, designs here she's got some faces she's got um, this could be used for like clothing this you can make you can paint your own face over top there's some more and uh, she's got these ones that have a few faces as well. So this one would be really good to use the faces, to paint your own faces on here. Um, and we will be doing that. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna take the binding off. Uh, you can use any kind of hard cover book to do it this way. I uh, seem to remember my mom used to always have like Reader's Digest books that she would get. Not the magazines, but the books that you can get. And they were like really thick and like just like, they would be perfect for like a nice thick art journal, but like not big, just like smaller, more compact, but still thick. I don't know where those are, so I'm out of luck with that. Uh, so all I'm gonna do is just to reinforce this a little bit. I'm gonna put this paper on, but first I am going to put some tape down the middle here, just to make sure that this is actually really reinforced. So I apologize for uh, kind of missing a few days of videos. I know I was posting one every morning, daily, during the week, and well, to just be totally honest, I just have been kind of struggling this week with uh, my little, you know, depression problems. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it. And so um, I just, I couldn't function to save my life, literally. Um, so you know what, I just try to not put too much, luckily I'm in the stage of life where my kids are a little bit older and independent and my husband is super helpful so you know I can kind of I still I still was functioning I was still doing things around the house but I just I could not I, I would come down here to work to my studio and I'd just be like I can't I can't do it I don't know you probably don't want to hear about all my 
issues. Anyways, does anyone ever feel like that? And then you'd think, okay, well, yeah, but you're an artist, so like do some art and it'll make you feel so much better. And that's what I always tell myself, but sometimes it doesn't work. And I just, if any of you guys have, if you can identify with that at all and tell me any tips that you do, especially for creatives, um, let me know because seriously, I, don't, I hate it when I get into that and I'm just feeling like I'm getting out of it. And it's, um, it's 1.50 in the morning. So that kind of tells you I have been sleeping when I'm supposed to be awake and when I want to sleep, I can't go to sleep. Ugh. Anyways. Okay, I'm going to paste this on. Okay, so I'm just going to use Mod Podge. And actually, I don't know if I'm going to use these papers. Uh, they don't really go. I'm going to find some different papers, actually. So this is going to be my journal where I do these whimsical girls. So I uh, also just want to say thank you to all of you who have been commenting and I just love seeing your comments and I wanted to say welcome to all my new subscribers. So the reason why I'm putting paper down, even though I'm going to be putting this collage, these collage papers down is because these will go see through once I apply them with whatever medium I use. And so I just am trying to cover up the, the cover of the book here. So that's why I'm doing it that way. first stage is done for the for the outside anyways um, to me this just adds to the whatever but if some papers get torn you can just use Mod Podge and just kind of reinforce them a little bit now we're gonna put the collage papers on so there's this that's kind of a cute little thing. There is a backing to this and the backing is there so that it can be a little bit more substantial to print on but you do need to remove this backing. And if any of you have watched Jane Davenport's of, oh, I'm not sure which, I think it's her mixed media. She has a little mini mixed media course. I think she explains this, the same thing about the napkins. And so all of these edges, if you've ever worked with napkins, it's awesome because these hard edges, they just disappear. And I just mostly want the quote on there. So I think I'm just gonna do that. And go to your dollar store and see what napkins they have. I found some really pretty napkins at, the, at my local dollar store. Look at that just disappears into nothing but the print is still there isn't that awesome oh love it okay um, so this is gonna be my journal of faces so I do want to put some faces on here so I'm gonna take this one and I might add some more stuff I'm gonna get this on there. 
And you can just rip this by hand. You can uh, wet it with a Q-tip. Up there or here? I think up here. I don't know. And I don't mind the wrinkles that get in this. It's just like tissue paper. Oh, I love this. I love working with napkins on my mixed media. Oh, see, you can see the print behind it. So that's why I wanted to kind of be a little bit choosy about what I was putting the, about what paper I was putting here. So I'll just show you how you can use this to just, and then you can be more precise in what you are getting out of the napkin especially if there's an image right beside it that you don't want to tear into. Okay, and I am going to have to take the backing off. Don't forget to do that. I kind of want her without too much in the background behind her so she's more noticeable. Tear this a little bit. I don't want a straight edge there. So if I can, I am going to try to get another one of these and include this in the giveaway. And so while we're talking about the giveaway, I might as well tell you about it and how you can enter. So to enter the giveaway, you will need to watch each of the videos that I have in this Jane Davenport series and so you need to watch them and you need to comment at least once on each one and give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down and uh what else oh every comment gets an entry um and you need to be subscribed to me so if you're not subscribed to me then and you've commented uh on each video it won't you your entries won't count because you're not subscribed to me and to help you not miss a video because you do have to comment on each one. I'm going to put it in a playlist that's, it is in the playlist, but remember there, I haven't finished all the videos yet, so you need to come back and keep checking. And uh, you can do the little notification bell and that will help you with seeing when I've uploaded a video. And what else? I gotta tell you what I'm giving away. So this is this series, for those of you who may be wondering, this is not sponsored at all. It's just my own little thing I'm doing. Um, just to kind of get my YouTube channel. I don't know if I want four. That's kind of weird, hey? Nah, we'll keep her for somewhere else. We'll put her on the inside or something. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, so this isn't sponsored at all. It's just me going and getting some Jane Davenport supplies and just having a fun giveaway for my YouTube channel because I want to. Okay, so let's go over what you can get. So in the giveaway so far, I'm probably going to add some more things in there yet. I just am not sure yet. Depends what I can get. Um, it's hard for me to get some of the items in my Michaels because I don't get it all in and I'm up in northern Canada and ugh. Anyways, so this is the Brights palette, the Brights watercolor palette by Jane Davenport, which is awesome. I have some videos where I've used that and my last video was using these face stamps, which are very useful and uh, so that is in the giveaway and some washi tape. So you can win that and possibly some other things. And yeah, so I'm going to, because these are kind of like not the same, uh, they don't give the same kind of aesthetic as the book cover, I'll be using these inside the journal.
that gives you an idea of what you can do with the collage papers. I'm going to do some more videos with them for sure. So I'll do some more. I do have one like hour long video where I'm doing a mixed media thing and I do have some more that I'm going to do. I have one, another one that I have to edit and then I want to do, I'll be doing some more in here. But I try not to have too many videos that are an hour long because you know, I don't watch them. But if you are someone who does enjoy, let me know. And also remember the playback speed. You can put it to like one and a quarter times, one and a half times, twice the speed. And you can still mostly understand what's going on. So that's an option as well. And uh, I will include this video in my playlist, which I'll just put a link up right there. And so I hope you try this and let me know uh, how it works. And if you are on Instagram, I am, uh, I'll put my Instagram up there so you can see it. And you can follow me there and you can tag me. And my Facebook page, I will put the Facebook page there. And go ahead and follow me on there and you can send me, if you try any of these that I've been doing in my Jane Davenport series, I would love to see what you've been trying from my videos and I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.